In this video, we are going to be taking a look at my very first K-Line model train set. Let's go ahead and get started because this is a pretty unique piece. Here on the layout, we have the Kinnicott Copper Corporation train set put out by K-Line. Now I challenge you viewers at home to try to say that phrase five times fast. It's quite challenging. Now this train set here on the layout is actually modeled after a real mining corporation in Utah. This corporation was the largest extractor of copper up until 1997 when ownership changed and this company no longer operated as one entire entity. This corporation decided to use diesel and electric engines to help transport all of the ore out of the mine. Now this mining corporation had quite an extensive diesel and electric engine roster and one of the engines included in that roster, or was on the roster, was the MP15 switcher. The set we are looking at today actually includes a scale conventional MP15 switcher model painted up in the Kinnicott Copper Corporation paint scheme. So as far as authenticity goes for this model, we're actually on the right track. Now along with the MP15 conventional scale model that's included in this set, we also have eight ore cars. These ore cars are individually numbered and they include quite a bit of extensive molded in detail. Now each ore car is kind of painted up in the Kinnicott Copper Corporation paint scheme, the green and yellow paint scheme. Now I'm sure in real life these ore cars were not that way at all, they weren't this fancy, but nonetheless these are still cool pieces for the set. Lastly, included in this set is the work boost. Now, unfortunately, my light has detached from the base, but glue can fix that really easily. It's an easy fix, I'm not worried about it. Before I share my thoughts about this set and kind of why I was interested in it, let's go ahead and watch this piece run around the layout for a little bit. So in conclusion, I just kind of wanted to touch on why I wanted to add this set to the collection and there's two main reasons. The first reason is that this set includes a scale conventional engine. Most of my collection pieces are Lionel, post-war, or NPC era themed trains and I don't actually have a scale conventional engine or I don't have a scale engine that I can run because I don't really have space or the budget for Legacy or DCS or anything like that. So having a scale model and having it be conventional is really nice. The second thing is that this set includes ore cars and I don't have any ore cars so it's really cool to add some ore cars to the collection especially since I'm kind of modeling a mountain so I guess I can kind of pretend that I have a mine somewhere behind the mountain I guess there's another line that goes back there or something I don't know just trying to get a little bit creative but yeah now I have ore cars on my layout and they look kind of cute going around my layout especially on the inner loop Alright guys, nonetheless, I hope you learned something today and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos. And as I always say, I will see all of my wonderful viewers in my next video. Take care everybody.